We can speak to Carlos Conde, who is a researcher with Human Rights Watch, joining me now from Manila. Many thanks for speaking to us, Carlos. So, tell us the significance uh, of this court's verdict. This is quite significant because, as you mentioned, this is the first conviction of police officers who are implicated in drug war killings in the Philippines since uh, Duterte became president in uh, 2016. And this is also significant because after thousands and thousands of deaths of, uh, of Filipinos, a lot of them are children, and a lot of them were uh, wrongly targeted or even uh, caught in a crossfire. This is extremely significant for the families of those victims who have, whose cries for justice have been, have been denied all this time. And so this is quite a triumph for justice and accountability in the Philippines. And this is something that the victims' uh, families uh, are obviously uh, are rejoicing over. Uh, Duterte has uh, in the past promised to uh, pardon police officers convicted in these sorts of drug war killings. Um, how has he responded to this? Do you think he's going to keep this promise of his? Well, that's the thing that worries us, uh, actually, because uh, he has made uh, uh, a promise quite emphatically that he will pardon any police officers who are found guilty of uh, carrying out his order uh, related to the drug war. And we see no reason for him to renege on that promise. I think, uh, despite the presidential palace's assurances today, that the president will not pardon his three police officers. We, we still think that he, he, he will do it, and that is something that we're keenly uh, uh, monitoring. And, and obviously, the families of the victims and a lot of human rights activists on the ground here in Manila uh, and across the Philippines are, are um, urging the president not to do that and to, in fact, uh, encourage uh, the courts and the prosecutors to, uh, to, to do their job in investigating uh, these killings. Uh Carlos, uh, Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs and uh, these killings that we've seen go on for quite some time now have received a lot of attention uh, within the country and outside the country. Uh, but there seems to be no way of uh, stopping it from happening. Uh, where do you see uh, how this panning out? We, we, certainly, we certainly feel and, and, and uh, uh, understand the frustration by many that uh, the Duterte administration seems to be getting away with a lot of murders in the Philippines in the past two years. Uh, and so that is why we've been calling on the United Nations to ramp up its, uh, uh, its uh, um, criticism of the drug war, denunciation of the killings, and also uh, to try to take steps, concrete steps, to end uh, the killings by, for instance, uh, convening an inquiry into the Philippines. And also, we've been urging the International Criminal Court to really uh, uh, take uh, further steps in the investigation of the killings, because these are the only ones, the only measures so far that we see uh, will have significant impact in the Philippines, because right now, domestic um, uh, institutions for accountability and justice seems to be uh, not working, uh, regardless of what we see today. Carlos Conde, researcher with Human Rights Watch, speaking to me from Manila. Many thanks.